Uh, thank you, Mr. Anderson. Um, just some follow-up questions first uh, on this matter, and then I have another matter I, I want to pursue. Um, following the announcement of uh, the settlement between the ABC and Mr. Porter, um, there were a number of comments by ABC staff on social media. Um, which of those came to your attention? Uh, a number uh, came to my attention at the time. Um, from I had, well, there were several tweets, frankly, Senator. So a couple of them came to my attention from uh, Ms. Milligan and Ms. Neighbour, uh, to name two. And did you have any concern about the content of any of those tweets? Uh, I certainly did about one of them. Uh, that was a tweet by Ms. Neighbour, which was factually incorrect. It didn't accord with the deed of settlement. So um, I had concern about that one, yes. Mm. What action did you take when that was brought to your attention? I called uh, my Director of News, uh, Mr. Gavin Morris, and advised him that he needed to uh, get on to Ms. Neighbour and um, make sure that that was corrected. Um, what was Ms. Neighbour's explanation for issuing a factually incorrect tweet about the proceedings? I don't have an explanation from Ms. Neighbour. The action was, I believe, that um, Ms. Neighbour deleted that tweet uh, and made a clarification uh, after that. It was a pretty important um, clarification, wasn't it? It was a pretty substantive uh, issue. Oh, look, I think Ms. Neighbour just uh, mistransposed what was sitting in the ABC statement uh, when we had said that we did not pay. Uh, damages, uh, and uh, but Ms. Neighbour wasn't party to the deed, so it was important that the clarification was made. Mm. But she is an employee of the ABC, who's subject to the agreement with Mr. Porter. Um, don't you think it's important that ABC staff uphold agreements that the ABC enters into? Uh, I think that um, look, it's uh, it's so for for ABC staff members that have a personal social media account. Uh, you know, my preference is that they do not speak on behalf of the ABC, of course. Um, they're entitled to their own view as long as it accords with our code of conduct and our personal use of social media guidelines. Uh, on this occasion, I felt that that needed to be uh, corrected as fast as possible. Mm. Is it really a personal social media account when ABC staff use it to exclusively promote ABC content? Ms Neighbour, for example, often tweets... Uh, she's often the first person to tweet about an upcoming Four Corners episode. Uh, material she only has as an ABC employee. It's not really a personal account, is it? It's a professional account. It is a personal account. We have separate uh, professional accounts. It is her personal account. Uh, and yes, uh, not just Ms Neighbour, but other journalists will do the same thing. Uh, again, uh, they must, uh, anybody who is, is active on social media must abide by our code of conduct and the personal use of social media guidelines. And what are the consequences when they fail to meet that code of conduct? Uh, look, I've made that quite clear, and I've given evidence before, Senator, Senator that um, if so, we have social media uh, policy when it comes to our specific accounts. But for use of personal social media, it's captured in the code of conduct that it may result in sort of failure or breach of that code of conduct, may result in disciplinary action, which includes termination at its most possible outcome. And in this instance, what uh, action has been taken? Uh, Senator, well, no action has been taken. I don't see um, any... Nothing has been brought to my attention at the moment that I believe to be a breach of the Code of Conduct. Uh, that said, uh, I have not looked at all social media activity in the last week. Uh, if somebody wants, somebody raises something with me, I'll certainly look at it. So an ABC employee can tweet false things about a settlement the ABC has entered into, and as long as they delete it, there are no consequences? I don't believe that was maliciously... Uh, done. I don't think. I don't believe that was the intention. And the the, the tweet was deleted. Others Another might disagree with then. your characterisation that it wasn't malicious. I mean, it, it's pretty clear that um, Ms. David was trying to celebrate the ABC's resolution of this issue. So very quick to do that. Um, it seemed like a very excited tweet. Um, I think some people might believe that there was some malicious element to it. There is no way that Ms. Neighbour would have known what was in the deed of settlement. Well, so why is she tweeting about it then? Uh, it's a question for Ms Neighbour as to why she was... Well, perhaps it's a question for her employer, who's sitting before the Senate committee right now. Well, Senator, she was uh, reading from a statement that the ABC had made. It was a broad statement that was put out. Uh, and I think that there's an error in the transposing of what was in that statement to what she tweeted. Mm. 
Um, what does that say about the uh, quality control uh, at the ABC when a senior producer is getting basic important factual questions wrong and tweeting about them? I think it was an error, Senator, and I think uh, Ms Naver corrected that. Mm. Do you think that your audience draws the distinction that you do between an official ABC account on the one hand and a personal account of an ABC employee on the other? Senator, it's one of the reasons that we have the code of conduct and the what I mentioned before, the personal use of social media guidelines that we issued in February and March respectively, is that I think it is possible for the audience to actually see um, a blurring of the two such that there isn't anything that anyone should do on social media that, that prohibits their ability to be able to impartially report on any topic. Uh, and it's important that they do not bring the ABC into disrepute uh, or affect sort of how effective they might be at their job. That's at the heart of what we have in the Code of Conduct about what we expect um, from our employees. Um, the employees uh, have a certain, um, certain liberties, certain freedoms, freedom of speech, but at the same time, uh, we expect them and their behaviour uh, to do all those things I mentioned before that, ex that exist in the Code of Conduct. Yeah. I, think, I think it is possible for an audience member to not see that separation of personal use of social media and what we do officially on our platform. Well, I would say it's, it's certain that they wouldn't see that. I mean, I, I follow your, your journalists, many who I admire, and I follow them because they tweet about their work. They tweet about their journalism. I'm not interested in their cat videos or their personal lives. I'm interested in their professional information they convey on the platform, which they have only access to because they're ABC employees, which they are paid in part to convey to their audiences, and they, Twitter is one of the mediums in which they do. It seems like a, a totally artificial distinction to say these are personal accounts. They are personal accounts. That's factually what they are. Um, we do have, when I've mentioned a few times now, the personal use of social media guidelines, it does uh, get into when to identify yourself as an ABC employee and for what purposes you might use it uh, and what not to do when you are simply doing something that is that is personal to you. So so we, we provide that guidance to, to our staff to make sure that that is the case. There are legitimate reasons for a journalist to use social media um, to find sources, for them to get in contact uh, around the art, or the art, their, their craft of journalism. Um, absolutely, but uh, but it is look. I, it is an issue. It is a live issue. We're not the only organisation that is grappling with um, use of personal social no, media. No, but you but are our, the only taxpayer-funded organisation that has different obligations from a private media organisation. Well, I think other tax-funded um, uh, uh, entities have have similar issues, Senator. Um, they can draw from our code of conduct and, our, and what we've got in in our, in our guidelines. It is something that we are looking to enhance all the time. Uh, now that we have this code of conduct and these guidelines, where we issued them late last year, I emailed everyone to make it crystal clear in February of this year, and then in March of this year, I emailed everyone the uh, personal use of social media guidelines. It's not something we are being passive about. It is something that we are actively looking at and pursuing and try to, trying to make very clear that distinction. Yes, and then I'll just, give the call. Thank you, Chair. Just one um, relevant fault, Senator Henderson's questions mm -hmm. about um, social media. Um, Mr. Anderson, are you familiar with the um, news, satirical news website, The Shovel? Uh, no, I am not. Um, it's, a, um, it's, it's an amusing, humorous website, often has quite <coughs> a, acerbic content and an associated Twitter account. Uh, it sent a tweet on the 1st of June in relation to these matters. Um, it has uh, swear words in it, which I'll, I'll bleep out. It's, and I quote, uh, imagine uh, being the chief law officer and effing up your own defamation cakes. It'd be a bit like being the health minister and effing up a major vaccine rollout, dot, 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 oh wait. Um, among the uh, many likes um, for that tweet uh, was Ms Neighbour. Um, is it appropriate for the executive producer of Four Corners to like a tweet um, reflecting on the chief law officer and the health minister in that way? Uh, again, uh, Senator, I'd have to have a look at uh, that that you mentioned, but um, uh, again, it goes to the issue of any of our staff putting um, any uh, weight behind something that we would otherwise consider to be a breach of our of our code of conduct. Mm. So, M Ms. Neighbour was not just the executive. 
I allowed you one question. Yeah, just, just really quickly, Chair. Ms Nader was not just the executive producer of the episode concerning Mr Porter. She was also the executive producer uh, of an episode on the vaccine rollout. Uh, she's pretty clearly expressing an opinion uh, on social media. Is that appropriate? No, you've made your point. I've said I'm going to pass the call.